The Bucks and the Celtics. It's back-to-back -back MVP Giannis Antetokounmpo visiting Jason Tatum. Going to pick this up in the fourth quarter. Celtics have led all night, but Giannis bringing his team back. Mr. Inside gets it to 10 points, and then Mr. Outside is Giannis drilling the three. He had 35 points, 13 rebounds. It's a two-point game. A minute and a half to go. Celtics looking for a response. We're all tied. Not anymore. Jason Tatum. Oh, that's impossible to stop. He scored 30. Boston by two. Ensuing Bucks possession newest member of their group drew holiday watch the step back he was great last night drew holiday 25 points in his milwaukee debut nine seconds left in the fourth celtics down by one what are you going to draw up they get it to tatum watch the switch how about this matchup Giannis one-on-one -on -one with tatum four three two one throw it up bank is open jason tatum banks home the three he had six threes on the night as part of his 30 point night that one gives the Celtics the two point lead with point four seconds remaining but again point four seconds Bucks have a chance what are you going to do holiday going to throw it up Giannis looking to throw it down and hold everything we got a foul the whistle blows it's a foul on Tristan Thompson Giannis is going to go to the line with a chance to tie it he shot 63 percent last year first one oh it's up and good he needs one more, and we're going to overtime. Giannis. Oh, he pulls the string. Front of the rim. His first game since signing the biggest contract in NBA history. That one doesn't go, and the Celtics survive. 122-121 in a thrilling opening game for both of those really good Eastern Conference teams. And Tim Legler joins us here this morning. Timmy Legs, let me get a thought from you. What do you take out of that one, especially that moment from Giannis at the line? Listen, you're a two-time MVP, Green. you got to make that free throw. It's that simple. And, and it's one thing to just, you know, beat up a guy over one missed free throw on a night when he had such a great statistical night. This is more than that, though. It's reared its head before. If you go back to a year ago against Miami, and I know he was banged up at the tail end of that series, but he was 20 for 37 from the line in the first three games of that series. That's 54%. The year before that, when they lose to Toronto, he shoots 55% from the line in that series. And the reason it's such a big deal because it's still the one thing holding this team back from breaking through, putting the ball in the hands of your best player in that situation and having faith and confidence that he can do whatever is required in the moment, mid-range, deep, or make a critical free throw to get your team to the next level. And he wasn't able to come through. Uh, and it's something that you're going to question about Giannis and this team all season long yeah. in those moments. Giannis, why did I, I mean, uh, Big Perk, why did I hear that sigh from you? I got 30 seconds. First of all, it wasn't a foul, and they they have that old saying, "Ball don't lie," because he mm -hmm. wasn't supposed to be shooting free throws <laughs> anyway. But but Tim Legs is on point. But I think it was more about the Boston Celtics. Jalen Brown was phenomenal last night. With Kimba being out, look for Jalen Brown to up his game. The mid range is not dead, and he showed us that last night. By the way, keep nice additions by the Boston Celtics getting Tristan Thompson and Jeff Teague. They were huge for them last night. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.